Hiya, it's Barbosa back again with another little bit of Super Auto Pets. Trying to crack this weekly, having a little bit of trouble with it. So let's get started. Chilling here with a nice glass of water today, staying well hydrated. And two chinchillas early in the shop. Can't say no. With the triple cone snail reward? Oh, you do tease me. Okay, let's buy one of these. Sell. Sell. Hold on to both of these. Both of these what? No. Nope. And a third chinchilla. We have truly been blessed. Even though the shop is incredibly cold. Today, I'm feeling a little bit like a grotesque bird. A little bit under the weather. A little bit of phlegm. I wonder if birds have phlegm-based issues. Probably not. They regurgitate a lot of their stuff. I've now realized I've put the cone snail in the worst possible position. Cracking start. Well, at least we can give up some early losses here. And maybe we'll put the cone snails in a position that works a little bit nicer for them. But here we go. Two levels ready for the next round. We could make, make, maybe make a big snail. Let's get into it. Facing the Danish pants. I've never had pants of any Danish variety. Our snail train was sadly not strong enough. Ugh. Well, going into round three with four lives isn't the worst thing that could happen. Well, I mean, four lives and no wins is literally the worst possible outcome for the first two rounds. So let's see if we can win this back. Okay, give me that first level. An aardvark, a little bit of anti-trumpet technology. Let's see what the other level is. And a weasel. A weasel I will take. Do I want the yard fight? We'll, we'll give it a go. You never know. You might get a little bit lucky. With a heron in front? Don't mind if I do. I don't need that extra snail. So aim the game just to get 10 wins. You know, a terrible start. But recovery is an important skill to master. You've got to learn how to play from behind. And that's what playing far too much League of Legends has taught me. Is you've got to have the ability to adapt. The ability to overcome. The ability to maybe even improvise just a tad. 11 money. Give me one free roll. Be gone loyal chinchilla. And we will double up on the otter. I don't mind it hitting the ferret. The weasel even. Hit the aardvark, sure. I'll hold on to this stalk for a second. I will hold on, I'll buy the stalk and hold on to the first stalk. Okay, I'm not massively upset by the team. I'm just not sure if the armbar's going to pop off. I don't believe there are any mice or bears in this weekly. But trumpets will be summoned. So hopefully our team lasts long enough for the Labrador to pop out. Gives the aardvark a little buff. But sadly, that was a pipe dream. So close. A defeat. Unsurprising there. Okay, let's take that level. An armadillo. I say enchanté. Up front, you go. Roll me out again. Roll once more. A secondary aardvark. I don't think the aardvark is doing it for us. I Garlic on the armadillo, though, seems sensible. An otter. A weasel for a little bit of extra economy. I can't remember if there are many cell pets or not. We do play a little bit, play it a little bit loose and fast, a sort of renegade style of super auto petting. Some may say, others may say you're just not paying enough attention. And I think that both schools of thought are incredibly valid. That's a large flamingo that came out there. Unfortunately, was not large enough. Oh boy, this is looking bad. Okay, otter up for a turtle. A marvellous pet. Come join. Get in front of that ferret. Roll me up. Pill and flamingo. I'm going to hold on to. I want to get rid of the aardvark next round. So we're going to risk a salad. Don't hit the aardvark. Beautiful. Into turn seven now. What have you got? The half jackets. 
fashionable a statement. I've never seen a magpie so large in my life. But we managed to take out the big one. Heron gets a knockout. The Heron's just going to run through the squad now. The stork, even. I'm very bad at identifying birds. Two wins, two lives. But now you are tempting me with two flamingos. Well, like I said, we're saying goodbye to the aardvark. Flamingo. Flamingo. I'm hoping for that level. There's the level, baby. And they reward us with a silver fox. A little bit of Philip Schofield. You don't fit in the squad at the minute. But is it worth running a super econ team? Maybe it is. What would the econ help us? Obviously it will help us get more pets, more food, give us more stats. But if we're just wasting them on rolls, is it worth it? This team looks a little bit threatening. I haven't seen much Hercules Beetle action. I've, I've struggled to make it pop up in my own runs. Uh, we're, we're asking a lot here from our heron. Big animal, it's just a smaller rabbit. Holy moly, we have played this absolutely appallingly. But we will take our weasel level, which gives us another silver fox. I think I want to run this super econ build. So we're going to pill up the flamingo. Buff these bad boys here. Silver fox behind the turtle. Or do we just melon up the, the silver fox already? Let, let's get rich. Let's make some money. Melon up on you. Bring you just behind as well. I must say that silver fox noise is very charming. Alright, we, we may just be fast forwarding to our death here. But, but I have little faith. A, a good melon positioning can help a lot. I've now seen this squad, and I've returned back to having little faith. There, there's a possibility. There is a chance. We've got enormous amounts of hit points. And there you go. The stork coming in clutch once again. Thank you, little rabbit, for keeping the dream alive. Oh, boy. We're going to have to sweat something out over here, aren't we? Now I can see a silver fox level. I will take you immediately. Brings us a walrus. A bit of death touch on the animals. I think it's only fair. Beef up the armadillo a little bit. Keep rolling. And lemon. I mean, is it worth putting lemon on the armadillo if we're hoping to hit the walrus? Maybe it's better to put the walrus behind. And I think that's what I want to do. Lemon up on the armadillo. Allow yourself to get more buffs. Roll through the squad. Are there any big buffers this week? There is the orangutan that could help. I'm just so unimpressed by our stats. Turn 9, no double digit stats. We're going to have to get very lucky with some walrus. Come on, give me a little bit of Barry White. That's all I need to get this run going. And it looks like they have taken a move to pivot as well. As we start buffing ourselves up marvelously. An enormous snail. We do get the death touch over there. Great work on the melon. Big stalk does the job. Four wins. We're, we're reaching a level of respectability that I might be happy with. And that is the kind of buffer I'm talking about. We've got 18 gold. Holy moly. Okay, chocolate on the armadillo for the level. And you bring in a cobra. We're getting rid of the weasel. Do I need this much money? Because now I'm tempted for monkey sell the silver fox. Bring in a cobra. Another stalk. And we've still got 10 gold? This is a luxury we will not be able to have anymore. Is there any way to buff the cobra? I feel the walrus being hit now is kind of redundant. But yet, I keep it in the squad. And I think an onion on the cobra goes kind of sicko mode. Jumps all the way back after we're going to the front. And I guess I'll put a meat on the walrus. Just buff it up a little bit. At least we've got two double digit stats, not on the same pair. No, turn 10. You can start seeing some 30 30s at this point. 
And there you go. We've got a raccoon here. He's going to steal my, 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 my G-dang melon. Thank you. Steals. He's stealing everything. Our cobra just, just has not got the, the DPS needed to navigate super auto pets. Holy moly. An absolutely terrible start. Going out on turn 10? Oh, I think we've got to run it back. Here we go. A little, a little bit of redemption now. I would cone snail into otter. Goodbye, chinchilla build. And I think a moth goes a little bit crazy as well. Let's have a self-buffing moth up front. And this time I shall be a bit of edible soup. It's my favorite type of soup. But it does beg the question, is cereal soup? I suppose it's in a body of water. At least we've put the cone snail behind us this time. And we are going to lose here. Okay, losing on the first round, not the end of the world, is what we said last time. And, well, I guess the world didn't end. So that's always a positive. And we're going to be close to a couple levels over here. I still think just having a big moth at the front is the way to do it. You know, when moths are very popular, you just need a 1 HP unit at the front. And there you go. See, they, they put a bigger unit up front, and it's just going to get wiped out by the moth. Is it a waste? Maybe. And now we're going into round three with one win under the belt and five lives on the board. A little bit better. Thank you for the life back game. <clears throat> a peacock, I struggle to say no to as well. The stork did great work for us last time, but I believe in a little thing called love, and love is having more peacocks than you know what to do with. I won't hold the flamingo for now. But yeah, so now you buff up the peacock, get him nice and big. Maybe it's a little bit risky having them at the back, but there aren't too many threatening tier one and tier two pets. Mosquito hit my peacock, please. Nope, that's fine. You can hit the, the, the two adjacent units. And we'll take a draw. I mean, those running blunches, they are formidable, aren't they? Give me my level. For an Arnvark... Another Arnvark. We're going to hold on to you for a minute. I will hold on to you for a minute. I have no faint pets. This has been a huge mistake. Put honey on the otter. You never know. It, it, the spawn can make a difference. It would have made a difference in the last round if we had otters. Oh, uh, honey on the otter. Oh, my apologies for my nose there. A valiant battle. And again, the bee made jackal difference. Okay. Another defeat. Run it back up. Run it back up. Turn five. This is where the game starts to get interesting. Buff the otter. It gives me... The Doberman, I keep seeing it on my levels ups. It looks like a great unit. I just wish it stopped coming to me early in the game. Another buff. Hit the peacock. Nice. Is there anything I want here? Not really. But I think it's time to combine the moths. We're going to put the cone snail up front. He's going to buff the peacock. And I think we're just going to chinchilla here. Get a cheeky roll. And it gives us a cone snail. Do not underestimate the power of the chinchilla special roll. Now being served in a restaurant near you. Fussy fun guy. It's a, a dude who likes going to parties, but hates all the food that they could serve there. It's a fussy fun guy. But a convincing win here. We're back on track. Four lives still in the slot. And there's a lot of other magic going on over here. Cone snail me for the turtle. The turtle is significantly better than the chinchilla. I will hold some garlic onto the peacock. And then I will freeze both of my otters here. I ought to do that. Moth attached. There you go. Make sure you're staying hydrated, people. The panicking poets. Shakespeare, when he realized that he had a deadline. Do you think Shakespeare had deadlines? Because I felt like he was a pretty big name about. But, but I assume... I mean, did he work for someone? This is knowledge I should probably know. 
All right. Hit the peacock. Thank you. And hit the peacock again. Beautiful. I think now we say goodbye to the snail. Zebra. Buff. Roll once. And you show me the Doberman again. I think the meerkat for one round is kind of funny. But where do I want you? Like here? I don't want the melon hitting the peacock. So I guess this kind of works. It's a little bit of a curse team. But sometimes curses bring results. Okay, Hercules Beetle, level 3. See, the Doberman, getting getting no buffs over here. Well, I suppose you could play it up for the late game. And this is another win over here. I don't think the Meerkat really made the difference. But our Peacock's getting a little bit large, a little bit thick. Give me the level. And we have a Beluga Whale. Now, a Beluga Whale picking up a Stork... Is something I could maybe get behind. Beautiful. We have got three potential coins for the otter. I'm not freezing them off. They've got to go soon. Is Beluga Whale at the back the best idea? It's the only one I got. Edible soup versus the leaking lolly gags. I hate it when my loggy gags start to leak. Okay, the, the 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 buff hit the animal we didn't want. Due to their sniper technology. But ah, oh, what a terrible pet to spawn. I I I have some faith. Some faith. Not much, but some. I think lemon on the peacock is a no-brainer. The otter's gotta go pretty soon. And by soon, I mean now would be great. Again, I'm going to roll once more. Another peacock? You know what? Get, be gone, Otter. Show me my seven. Pick this up. Freeze the stalk. Roll me out. <laughs> and I think that might be, yeah. I'm going to hold a pill. Let's get the peacock large and in charge. Put them up front. They can take a beating now. 16 health, lemon attached. At turn 9, exactly, we've got considerably better stats than previously. Uh, their, their dolphin tiger combination does cut through the team just a little bit. The, but the melon is doing, uh, sorry, the lemon is doing the work it was built to do. And that's to keep my peacock alive. Right. I think this works. I should be able to peel the melon, peel the turtle onto you. Please don't eat the zebra. Because you didn't eat food. Beautiful. A good little buy sell. And then I think we're going to run our monkeys adjacent to each other. I guess put meat on one of them. We'll freeze the chocolate for the monkey level up. But look at a 1622 peacock. Enormous. I'm a little bit scared that walruses are going to start to turn up and one-shot the thing. They're full squatted up. I, I am partial to a llama squad. We did play a llama squad today on stream. So that's it. If you're enjoying the content here, feel free to come check us out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Barbosa online. Monkey level time. And you bring us the sauropod. I don't think we need the econ. I mean, the sauropod, food bolt, do we? Uh, yeah. Another monkey? I think that's only right. I'll put a banana on the, the moth as well, I guess. Put you back here. And the peacock continues to grow. Edible soup. The Milky Nuts. S tier name. I do not mind losing to you. I, I'm completely okay to admit I got skill gapped on name alone. Congratulations. A deserved win. Nothing too nice here. 
Is a flam would a flamingo be better? Well, I think we need to juice you up first. Would a flamingo be better than a stork? I'm going to go yes. And then more buffs for the peacock. And maybe a lioness just to start juicing up our units. I mean, we've got another monkey here. I don't want to buy the cow yet. So let's get another monkey out. I think we still just need to buff the peacock though. Put you here. Wait, move. So the flamingos are going to buff the moth and the first monkey. The monkeys are going to give big buffs to the peacock. This could work. I guess leaving the lioness later is never a good idea either. Broken hostesses. Okay. So far, the, the, there is... Oh, the, 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 the bloody toad is going to ruin my day. By applying weakness to all of my units. We spawn another monkey. And the monkey supremacy is slowly starting to die. Okay, we are now on six wins. I'm beginning to think I'm not very good at super auto pets. That may or may not be evident already. Level three monkey. Brings in a reindeer. Lovely. Cow. Sell the cow. Buy the reindeer. Sell the moth. Buy the lioness. I think what we're going to do is we're going to buff the peacock, but then we will have the beluga whale up front ready to pick up some monkey buffs. Go on, let's see turn seven, please. Or win seven, even. Edible soup versus the Tasty Pretenders. Uh, I believe that was a Foo Fighters cover band. And that is the largest Doberman I've ever seen. I spend all this time talking smack about the Doberman, and here it is, uh, doing incredible work. And we, we, we die with two left. Okay. Well, losing on turn 13. Unlucky for some, unlucky for me. But thanks for tuning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. We'll be back with a little bit more Super Water Pets later. Have a wonderful rest of your days, guys. Thank you so much.